Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today we're going to be changing the rear differential fluid on this 98 Cobra. Should be the same process for all 94 through 04 Mustangs with the solid rear axle and some Fox bodies. Okay, so we're going to lift right here on this beam, but we're going to do it kind of as far back as we can go. And then we're going to go ahead and put the jack stand right there on that torque box. And we're going to do that on both sides. Okay, so on the diff cover, we're taking off all of these 13 millimeter bolts. We're going to remove the bottom ones first and have a catch pan. Now it's going to be a 13 millimeter, and you want to use a 3 8 inch drive with a short socket to clear this bar so you can get in behind here like this. I'm going to go ahead and loosen up all these. And the cover does bend very easily, so we don't want to bend it too much. And just uh, loosen them all up and get ready to kind of pry it backwards a little bit and catch the fluid in the pan. Okay, we removed all the bolts going all the way around. Now we're just going to get a screwdriver real gently and just kind of pry in here. It's going to be held on by the RTV, so just try not to bend the cover. Just try to get behind it. Okay, so you just want to get like a spade or something like this and just pop that off and it'll start to drain off into the pan. So we can go ahead, pull that out. Drain all the fluid out. Okay, so you're just gonna reach in like this and you're gonna scoop out everything you can. You can put a bag over your hand or use gloves. And uh, we're just getting it all into the pan. Okay, we're using this scotch pad type uh, buffing wheel. You can get these at Walmart. And uh, we're, we just want to clean the mating surfaces on both the axle housing itself and the cover. You could also use some brake parts cleaner and uh, the back side of a sponge, the abrasive side, kind of the scotch pad. Okay, so you can see how clean we got this mating surface here going all the way around. So it's flat and clean and uh, ready to go. So now we're going to go do this to the cover itself so that both sides are really clean. Okay, going around the cover with this and then we're just getting all this junk out of here. It's pretty bad. Okay, we cleaned out inside the diff as well, as much as we really could. Just wiped it down real good so it's nice and clean. Scooped out everything out of the bottom that we could. Okay, now we're gonna put a bead of RTV all the way around it. And so you're going on the insides of these holes so that the oil never goes out of the holes. And that's the main thing, just go all the way around the diff. And we really like using the Ultra Black Permatex. Uh, it's specifically for oils, so it works really well. And we like to take a wire brush and clean the threads of all these. Okay, we're going to put some blue Loctite on each of these. Okay, all mating surfaces are clean and ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and take the cover. And it's a little tricky to go behind the sway bar here. You just want to make sure that you do not that you don't smear this thing. Okay, and then just look at the holes. Here, go down a little bit. There we go. Wind them up the best that you can there. That's looking good. Okay, we're going to stop right there. And let's grab some of these bolts. Let's get the hand tight first as much as we can. Okay, I'm not going to go as tight as you can on all these right now. We're just getting them snug and even. Okay, so to get an even seal, you just want to go opposite bolts 
doesn't really matter where you start just make sure that as you're tightening them down you're swapping over and going crisscross from each other just like you would do on a tire Okay, see that beautiful bead that's forming there on the back side? That's what you want all the way around the cover. Now it's really important to let the RTV dry and cure for the full 24 hours before you add the liquid so you don't have any leaks. Now as far as diff fluid goes, you're going to need about two quarts and uh, Ford uses both the 75W140 or the 75W90. So those were kind of the two. I've seen a lot of people interchange them, so whichever one you want to use. Uh, also, the Royal Purple should have friction modifier already in it, but if you want to buy the Ford friction modifier just so you don't get any gear wine, then it's not going to hurt to throw a little bottle in there as well. So if you follow the drive shaft down to the differential axle housing, you're going to see our fill plug here. So what you're doing is taking an extension so it's just the front end of it. Okay, there's no socket on it. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and remove the fill plug here. Now the way that uh, you fill the differential is through this and you fill it until it overflows. Okay, so here's our $7 pump from Harbor Freight. Okay, and basically you're going to just put the end in there and you're going to fill the differential until it starts to overflow. That's how you know that it's full and then you'll put the drain plug back in. Okay, so now we're just lifting on this beam here high enough to get the jack stand out and we'll go do that on the other side. 